Numbers chapter 24 is a continuation of a fantastic narrative. The chapters before depict the Moabite king soliciting a mercenary prophet named Balaam to curse Israel. Israel was approaching the promised land and Moab was right in their path. The king of Moab, Balak, saw Israel as a powerful threat, so he sought divine help to rid him of their presence. Balak hires Balaam to curse Israel, but the Lord divinely intervenes. In a series of requests, the prophet seeks to curse Israel, but the Lord convinces him that his requests are in vain. Balaam tells the king that no amount of money could buy a curse against Israel, but Balak persists still the same. What is finally produced instead of cursing is a blessing. Balaam, speaking from the Lord, blesses Israel, verses 3 through 9, and adding insult to injury, the blessing concludes with this. Blessed is he who blesses you, and cursed is he who curses you. So Balak would find himself under a terrible curse if he continued with this fight against Israel. And from the next prophecy of Balaam surfaces a continuation and a promise of one who would come and bless all the families of the earth. Verse 17 reads, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob. A scepter shall rise out of Israel. You see, from Israel, in the distant future from Balaam, would come Jesus, the King of Kings. And from Jesus, all the families of the earth would be blessed if they placed their trust in him and his finished work upon the cross. Well, back to our text. Balak was furious with his failure to curse Israel and would try another approach. You see, this is always our enemy's tactic to try another approach. You'll see this in the next chapter. Please be encouraged. The Lord's purpose always prevails. Many are the plans of man's heart. And when the Lord our God is leading, guiding, and in us, who can be against us, right? You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.